Okay, so what I do first, this is layer upon layer upon layer, and the first thing I do, and I can show you that, is I, I decide how I want my design to be, and I want this one to be a little bit loose. I don't know if you've ever seen the roses from the Victorian yard long um, paintings that were done during the Victorian era, but they're really beautiful big cabbage roses, and they just kind of lay out along the board, and that's what we're trying to to duplicate here. So the first thing I do is I cut all of my pieces of my transfer. This is a painterly florals and I separate them. I have one paper plate full of just leaves. Um, a few of them have fallen out. And then I have my medium sized roses and then I have another place where I have all of my long stems and my buds. And then I have the big roses, and you only need a couple of these, so there's a ton of these. You don't use them all for this design. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. Like I said, these are all cut and separated, and I would cut them as small, take as much of the stuff off the back as you can, because you're gonna overlap them. And then I just kind of loosely create my design going across. And the, the Victorian um, roses have lots of foliage. So then I just one leaf at a time, painstakingly. So I'll do just a few of these and then I'll start over on that side just to make sure that I've gotten it. But you will see how this builds. So we're kind of moving across. I am going to go ahead and start this side so that I know where it's going to be. Again, you use tons of leaves, tons and tons of the leaves. Now, I don't make these exactly symmetrical in using the same exact leaves, but I do try to make them kind of the same, um, I don't know what, height. Let's see how these goes. And I just keep working, work my way over. And if you look, um, you can go on Pinterest and look up yard long um, paintings, yard-long roses paintings, yard-long Victorian rose paintings, and you will see a whole lot of designs. And you can kind of just, um, not so much copy it, but get an idea. So this one, we want to kind of have, this one is kind of laying like that. And I want this one to kind of, the leaves to kind of lay. I kind of tried to make a, a, a line when I blended the paint. So it would kind of look like they're sitting on something, this big floral. And I don't know if we'll get the whole thing done. So once I get this set up, I'm going to concentrate on doing one side. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so you can just see, have an idea of what I'm doing. See, it's just loose leaves all just going along this horizon line. gonna just pull out one of my buds to just get a, a an idea of where I'm gonna put it and I am gonna put it there let's see how much can do this carefully if you do this but this is I'm just seeing how much more but that's actually is perfect so this is kind of setting the swag part of my design and like I said, I'm keeping this kind of open, meaning there's air and space between the leaves and the flowers. It's kind of airy. So the next thing I want to do is get a medium-sized rose that I'm going to put, like one of, it's one of these um, petally type rose, roses. 
And I'm going to put that right there. Also, I like to have ones that have more of the white, so it's more of a contrast with the, the green foliage because there's so much foliage and it's so dark. So that's how I do this. I just kind of build it as I'm going along and then when I get to the center, I'm going to work on this other side so that it's a little more symmetrical. But the middle is right here. This is like the center. So we know we want to save space for a couple giant roses in the center. So, so what I do is I try to see, okay, if I'm going to put this next one here, what kind of leaves do I need to have with it? So I'm going to put some more leaves there. So I'll show you how far this is. So we've only gotten that. But you see, the buds are in, and we've set our design. Okay, so this one is going to go here. Big cabbage rose with all those beautiful leaves. I did use more than one batch of um, greens, of leaves. I used... The leaves from two two transfers but not the flowers there's tons of flowers this particular design just has lots of leaves on it lots of foliage okay I don't put the big ones down till last but I do want to make sure that I have left enough room for them and that they're gonna look right we are going to put another bunch up in here, more leaves, more leaves. I don't do anything straight up and down, always a slight little angle, give it a little more interest. Okay, so this is our big rose. Now he's much better, and I need another medium-sized rose. I want another one of these crazy roses, floppy roses. Okay, let's see how this guy's going to look here. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so before I can put that one down, I do have to do this other one here, because the middle one is the one that stands out. So I need to get my other medium-sized one. So I'm going to keep my big one so that I know where it's going. This is like the most important part of my design is I know this one's going to go right there. So I'm okay with putting this one right there. I kind of am... Um, um, I do these giant projects that could take all day. But this one, I was rubbing too hard and I moved it. So I've got a little mistake there, but you know what? I've done this before and it is so easy to fix. I'm gonna show you how to fix when you make a little mistake like that. Oh, she's beautiful. All right, so you see I ripped it a little bit there. So I've got this this one that we have just little pieces of this one here. So it's the pink, so we're gonna cut this and cut a little bit of that pink there. We're just gonna put it right over it. See, I just cut that little bit of the pink out. And then I'm gonna put that right over there. And I don't think anyone will ever notice. In fact, I know they won't because it just looks like, and I'll show you that up close. So this is 
the half of our swag is done to the middle. I wanted to get it to the middle because I was nervous that we wouldn't get through the whole thing. So I really wanted you to see how I worked on it with all of the flowers and the leaves. So you set it with your leaves, your design, and then start putting your smaller flowers on the outside and work in till you put your centerpiece, your three big roses in the center. So I'm kind of overlapping, filling in. So I'll show you this again. And here is where we're working now. We're, we've just set the two buds and we'll start putting another, we'll put another bud here and then we'll start with some medium flowers, working our way over to the center and we'll be done. And then we will put a top coat over the whole thing. As you see, there's some places where it's just kind of not uh, attached to anything. They're just stems just standing there, but we have all these um, little leaves still to go. Okay, so this is our swag. And I will finish this, oops, I'll finish this part off camera and then I will put a, post a picture of it. I really so much appreciate y'all being here today.